Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Massive episode today. I've got 10 of my best sold sales items to take you through, which have come through for me over the last two weeks. Plus, I also want to take you through my weekly sales numbers, as I always do. Uh, the sole purpose of why I do these videos is to help you go out there, find the same item, and make the same sort of profit. But if you are here for the very first time, I do these videos three times a week on YouTube, talking all about online reselling. So if you're part-time, casual, full-time, just even thinking about getting into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. It is very, very much appreciated. Also, thank you for putting up with this mustache as well. It's halfway through November now, and uh, I've only got two more weeks with it left. December 1, it's set to come off. Um, but if you are enjoying it, let me know in the comments below and uh, I might be able to keep it around a little bit longer. I doubt I'll get too much positive feedback though, but uh, I thought I'd just raise that one as well today. Um, big episode, guys. Hope you're excited for it. I'm looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, hope you are too. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with a bang, guys. I was able to sell this TV entertainment unit, picked up at a garage sale for just 40 bucks for $280. Now, it was $265 as a listing price, plus they paid me $15 for delivery. The delivery was only about a 10 minute drive, so it was very, very worth my while. Now, I bought this in a garage sale for just $40, and it was a part of a bit of negotiation where I bought some bedside tables as well, and I bought about three or four different bric-a-brac items. The whole deal came to $100. In effect, this was $40 worth of value. So I've been able to turn that $40 into a very next day sale of $280, which has profited me 240 bucks. The TV entertainment units are a really good piece of furniture to flip. Uh, you can often get them at a very, very good price. And garage sales are actually a great place to be buying furniture from because a lot of people with their garage sales recently are trying to clear out furniture because they're looking to move and downsize given everything going on in the world right now. It's certainly what I've seen in the garage sales. And if you know a thing or two about furniture, you can really strike on some really, really good deals and flip them for some very, very good profit. So first item of the day, I was able to sell the entertainment unit for $240 profit a very next day flip. Now the lady that bought that entertainment unit has also ended up buying a Tasmanian Oak coffee table from me as well. Now I paid just $50 for this uh, on Facebook Marketplace about a week ago and I've ended up selling this to her for $200. Now Tasmanian Oak is a very, very quality wood and something you really want to look out for. But it's, it's just a great high quality piece of furniture and it's worth a whole heap of money. So to find this one for just 50 bucks, I knew that I was sitting on some profit. Um, I had a conversation with the lady that bought the entertainment unit. She said that she was moving into a apartment that had zero furniture. She needs to furnish her entire place. Now I said, I've got this awesome coffee table. If you are interested, I'll do it for $200 and she's taken me up on it. So all in all, I've made a $480 sale of two pieces of furniture that I've paid just $90 for. So furniture is just a great space to get into any of the sort of the living room type items like your entertainment units your coffee tables bedside tables as well i do a lot of and even desks as well they're my four key pieces of furniture and i'm just flipping them in very very quick time so if you've never done furniture i highly encourage you get into it there's a lot of profit to be made and i think these two pieces of furniture are proof of that the next item came from attending a Sunday market car boot sale. Um, I managed to pick up these Under Armour women's running shoes for just $2.50. I bought two pairs of shoes for $2.50 each. I spent five bucks with this lady and she gave me two very good pairs of shoes. Now, I know through doing a bit of retail arbitrage, that these shoes are worth about $160. And I was able to sell them on Facebook Marketplace for $35. Look, they were used. Um, I know that I probably got a, maybe a few more dollars. I had them on eBay for $59.99, but when you take out the fees, it comes down to about the $35 profit anyway. So to get these done on Facebook Marketplace, not have to post them, um, really good win, have to make a $30 profit on any pairs of shoes. But I think the big one here today with the reason why I wanted to put this in the video is that the Sunday markets and the car boot sales are a great place to source items at a very low price and still get real quality in the item. So these running shoes, awesome result, $2.50 purchase, knew that I was always gonna make some money. Um, get out to the car boots. There's plenty of money to be made. This next item came from the top shelf of my favorite op shop. It was the Battlestar Galactica board game. Now, I spied this after I'd bought a haul of clothes and as she was sort of going through the tickets and trying to work out how much it was, I did spy it up on the top shelf and I asked her if I could have a quick look. I did my comps right there and there on the spot and I knew that this was a $200 board game. And they did too, because that's why it was up there on the top shelf. They had $70 on it, but because I'd bought so many pairs of clothes, I said, would you do it for 
for $50. And she said, look, we're not the owner of this place, but let's just keep it quiet and we'll go ahead and do it for you. So in effect, I've saved $20 and I bought this thing for 50 bucks and I've listed it on Facebook Marketplace and eBay, but obviously it's an eBay sale sort of an item and it did sell on eBay for $200. So if you looked at the stats on this one, I've put the stats up here, I've paid 50 bucks, I've sold it for in effect 183 when you take out the $15 worth of postage. The fees came to $25 and I ended up profiting $107.78. So the cycle of 16 days was a pretty quick turnaround. This was a very old school board game, but the comps were so strong that I knew that if I held strong at 199, this item would sell. And sure enough, it has. So keep an eye out for the board games, but keep an eye out for that back shelf of your op shops and your, your thrift stores, because that's where the really good high quality items are. And if you can negotiate down to a lower price, it's only gonna be a few more dollars in your pocket at the end of the day. This next item was an awesome find on Facebook Marketplace and it just goes to show that speed wins always when you're on Facebook. I managed to find this TV set top box or a twin tuner. To be honest, I wasn't even sure exactly what it was, but it was electronic and I had a style code on the back so I was able to do my comps and I realized that this item was worth $220. So I was wrapped to find it on Facebook Marketplace. Not only was I able to find it, but she was offering it for free. She just wanted to get it out of the house and she had a few other pieces of electronics as well. So in effect, I've been able to buy five pieces of electronics off this lady for nothing. I just went around to her house and I picked it up and this was one of them. So this twin tuner, this um, set top box, it's gone on to sell on eBay for $225. An awesome result, my biggest highest profit item for a free pickup. Um, so the numbers on this one, when I have a look at it, it was a $225 sale, but it came to, when you take out the postage of $15.35, it was a $209 sale. Um, the fees were $29.25 on eBay, and I profited $180 because there was no purchase price involved. So a sales cycle of just 12 days, the comps were telling me it was worth the 220, 12-day sales cycle proves that that's exactly what it was worth. There wasn't a lot of them available for purchase, which obviously helped me out as well, but um, just a very awesome pickup to get this for free and sell it for $180 profit. Um, keep an eye out for the free listings on Facebook Marketplace because you can find gold every now and again. This next item was picked up at a car boot sale as well just a couple of weeks ago. It was the RM Williams belt buckle. Now, I was really happy to get this sale because it wasn't normally a category that I would search for or even see value in normally, but I paid a bit of attention to new categories and tried to keep my mind open to new things. And I was able to find this for just four bucks from a local man um, who was very generous to give it away for just $4. And the eBay comps were telling me that it was worth about $40 free postage. So this was an absolute gem of a find. It sold within the space of just six days for $39.99 free postage. So if we have a look at the figures here, it was able to be a $36.70 sale price at the end of the day. The fees came to $5.19 and the postage worked out to $3.30. So I've made $24.21 here on this belt buckle. The car boots, a great space to get sourced from to get great items. And also two areas of, of niche categories that I haven't played in before. So two great areas that I haven't done too much in prior that's been able to result in a pretty cool little find here in the belt buckle. Sticking with the theme of RM Williams, I was able to find these RM Williams boots in an op shop for just $9 this week, if you could believe. Now, these shoes, guys, they're worth $600 brand new, so I knew that I found a stack of profit here. I was able to comp them up on eBay per the sort of the wear and tear of mine to be worth about $150, and that's exactly what they've got on the sale for. So in the end, when you look at the fees, $19.50, uh, you've got to take out for that. Postage was $10 and uh, the purchase price of nine. I've profited $101 for these shoes. So just a great brand to get your hands on. If you do spy RM Williams in any way, whether it be a belt buckle or whether it be the shoes, grab it because you're always gonna make a heap of money. This next one came from a garage sale I did a week ago and I actually shot a video on it as well, which I'll put a link up here. Definitely check it out after this video. But in this video, I found five ACDC CDs that have gone on to sell for $64 99 cents free postage. Now, I bought all of these CDs for 50 cents each. So I've paid just $2.50 and they've gone on to sell for the $65 free post. So at the end of the day, guys, I've profited $38.65 when you take everything out for some CDs that really to him weren't worth a lot of money. If you can find the right bands and get your comps right, you can actually be making a lot of money in the CD space. So I definitely highly encourage you out there, whether you're at a car boot, whether you're at flea markets, whether you're even 
in the op shops. They're always gonna be super cheap, and a lot of them can be worth you know, 25 to 30 to $40. Some of them can be even worth $100. So always pay an eye for, or always keep an eye out for the CDs because there is quite a bit of money to be made in this space. I also shot a trip to the thrift video just last Thursday as well, and I bought these women's Mizuno running shoes. If you watched that video, you might have remembered me picking these up. They came out to be just $6 worth of value, and I've gone on to sell these on eBay within the space of just two days for $49.99 free postage. So again, I really like to profit around that $30 mark for, when I, for shoes, and I was able to sell these for basically a $31 profit after you take out the fees. So just a really great pickup grabbing it at a thrift shop for six, flipping it for a $30 on eBay. Bread and butter item in a really good pair of running shoes. Mizuno is a really good brand. If you're not into Mizuno or aware of that brand, I know some people aren't, um, it is still a great running shoe brand to get your hands on. A lot of people do wear them and I have actually started to see quite a few of them pop up in the op shops. Um, so I am grabbing them and they are proof here going on to sell for some pretty good money. So Nike's are great, ASICs are great. Now Mizuno's are great. Put it on your list because I've just made $30 profit on these ones. The next one is the Nendoroid series Japanese boxed toy. Now I really didn't know too much about this one. It actually came right next to the Battlestar Galactica board game that we spoke of earlier. The board game was there and then right next to it was this guy. And I had to grab him as well because he was $20. I bought him for 20 bucks, but the comps were saying he was worth about 80. And that's exactly what he ended up going on to sell for. So I've ended up saying $80, I think it was $82 at the end of the day. Um, so I've profited $31 on this guy. Um, having bought him for 20, I would have loved to have bought him for a little bit less. Um, but to get the board game for 50 and to get this guy for 20, they were both obviously $280, $290 worth of value. So it has been a really good turnaround from this purchase at the op shop. But look, I don't really have too much information in the sense of what this guy actually is. I don't know a lot about him. It's a Japanese style collector toy. I've really just solely gone off the comps on eBay. And really sometimes that's all it needs to be. You don't need to know all the you know ins and outs of any of these products. Like the twin tune of the set top box that I bought as as well like I don't know a lot about that product but I just know that it goes on to sell really well so don't think you need to know everything about everything you buy you just need to know that it sells well and um, that's exactly what this one did this Japanese toy it's a collector item there was no damage to it which is crucial um, and the comps were telling me that it was worth 70 so I bought it for 20 and I made a $30 profit in the space of 11 days so they were my 10 best sold sales items for the last two weeks, guys. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed those. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was out of that lot. Also too, let me know in the comments uh, what your best sales item was this week as well. I'd love to hear what your best sales items are because I go out and I look for those items myself. So I uh, would love to hear what you've been able to sell this week for your most amount of profit. Um, I always take you through my weekly sales numbers. I love to do that as well, just to have that transparency with you to let you know what I'm doing as a full-time reseller from a sales perspective and a dollar in your pocket scenario. So let's jump into that. I'll just take you through the numbers right now. Um, the items sold, I was able to sell 35. Now I average about 27 to 28. So to hit 35 this week, a really cool result. Cost of goods, $339. But my total sales guys, it's probably my second or my third biggest week that I've had, $1,609.02. So I'm wrapped with that number. Hopefully it's that Q4 period kicking in to finally generate a few sales, which has been awesome. Uh, my profit this week, I worked out to be $1,269.86. And really the success of this week, not only in the overall sales volume of $1,600, but it's the profit margin. The profit margin is only 80%. It's just unbelievable that I could sell for an entire week and hold an 8% margin. I was really shocked to kind of see that be so high. Um, if I could do that every single week, I'd be, um, I'd be laughing. But 80%, um, really happy with that, $1,600 as well. Uh, it's been a really good week. Um, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into eBay at the moment, and um, I'm trying to list about 10 items every single day without fail. And what I'm actually seeing is it is generating the return of sales back into my pocket. Um, I'm also listing obviously a lot onto Facebook still as well. So that will be my cross listing platform. Uh, and that's generating as many sales as well for me too. So I'm getting a really nice balance now. It was very heavy Facebook, but now it's sort of slowly becoming more 50-50 and I'm starting to see some overall generation of good sales on both platforms. So obviously the Q4 period that we're in, November, mid-November now, uh, really busy time, I'm charging away. There's a lot of hours here. 
um, to get these numbers. So, you know, the hourly rate isn't looking too flash, but it's a bigger picture that I'm working on. So hopefully uh, I can continue to hit these numbers and, and make them, you know, even, even bigger over the next few weeks leading into Christmas. But um, that's everything for today, guys. My 10 best sold sales items over the last couple of weeks and also those sales numbers as well. Uh, just to give you a bit of an idea about what a full-time reseller does. Um, that's only been in it for three or four months uh, as a full-time seller now. So hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, guys. I'm loving bringing this information across to you. Um, let me know if there's any sort of videos out there that you'd like me to do as well. Uh, I'll do a Sunday tips video. If there's any tips you'd like me to hear um, or, or say, I guess, um, put that in the comments as well because I'm happy to, to deliver that for you as well. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you're still here at this point, uh, look forward to catching you in the next episode. Thanks very much. Bye.